Hi friends and welcome to the technology in the future, regardless of art, still your home of iPad. My name is Faisal and this is your dog of Apple News, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews with all the iPads released this year. It's time that we focus on what's coming after, starting from Q1 of 2023. While the next Apple event will likely be solely about Macs, potentially the biggest ever Mac release up to date if you wanna know more. Check out my previous video, there are many reasons that suggest we will show no iPad at all, at least in the second half of the year, all except one, 7 generation iPad mini, let's talk. But the first question for you is, what kind of an update would you like to see on the next iPad mini? Please answer in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. BWT recently I have reviewed a few awesome Pitaka accessories for iPads. Check out the video as well as the link, the description and the pinned comment for this magnetic stand for every iPad variant with a wireless charger and next gen iPad Pro magnetic case. The iPad Mini 6 was one of the most speculated releases, which was blasted by tons of contradicted predictions and rumors. On one end, group of insiders seen certain there will be an all new design, while on the other side, skeptics and even some leaks promised a more conservative approach. Luckily, it happened and the smallest iPad got an update it really deserved. Not only its future or change in the form of sharp edges and an almost bezel-less design, but it removed the home button, relocated touch ID within the power switch, replaced lighting with USB-C, included better cameras, and brought more power at that time. Latest A15 Bionic processor, its price was and still is almost perfect. You can get the base 64GB storage option for 499 only, exactly 100 bucks below the 2022 iPad Air and just 50 above the latest generation iPad with BWT does not have Apple Pencil to support laminated display and ultra wide color came out and comes with an older and less capable chip, something that some of you may want to consider when buying. I will make a video comparing the specs of these models so stay tuned by subscribing and enabling notifications. The good question is, what else we can get from iPad mini 6 successor and most importantly when and at what cost. In my previous video about this subject, I made a bit of bold speculation about how bringing the M1 chip into Apple's next miniature tablet should not be a surprise. After all, it would not be the first time to see that iPad Air and iPad Mini share similar internals. While iPad Air is more like an all-around device, sufficiently capable to fulfill the needs of many professional users with its highly capable silicone and support for magic keyboard. The iPad Mini follows a different direction. It is a much smaller, super portable device, but Apple intentionally avoids adjusting the smart folio keyboard to its form factor. On the other end, comparable to Air, the iPad Mini is only iPad, along with the Pro lineup that comes with Flash, which just confirms how with this product Apple has completely different ideas. A15 Bionic is an awesome chip by default, and while it's less capable than M1, which is understandable because the latter one is made for laptop desktop computers primarily. Designed with a balance between raw strength and power efficiency in mind, A15 is one of the fastest mobile processors in the world, yet it brings more to juice saving which is perfect for a device with a much smaller battery. You will take care of yourself, we will meet you in the next video, bye bye.